everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is nisha masroor in this video we will get to know about ways to measure the effectiveness of the meeting which will be explained by our expert ms richa bartla ex cambridge university press and assessment india international exchange program trainer motivational speaker personality development coach and entrepreneur so to get complete information watch full video without skip ways to measure the effectiveness of the meeting which i one is timeliness of each meeting which means that if the meeting is scheduled at 9 am we make sure that we start at 9 am and this is something very common and i i would appreciate everybody in your uh, the participants who are here we have set up this call this webinar for 11 am but we are generally starting at 11:10 or 11:15 we have a reason for it because we want that maximum participants to be the part of it and there should not be a deal you know there should nobody should miss out nobody should miss out from the important information so as a host selnet team waits for 1110 and starts at 1110 and 1115 but i also want to think from the perspective of the people who are very good in managing their time those participants who are good in being on following the practice of timeliness when the session is at 11 o'clock they are present at 11 o'clock why should they wait for another 10 minutes or 15 minutes and this is just not example of this this is very live example that's why i'm giving you this example this happens in almost our all internal meetings also we have set a meeting for 9 o'clock i personally have experience i'm sharing all my experiences with you that our meeting used to set up at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning our bosses used to say that okay 10 o'clock is the meeting time let's meet and our bosses are not there at 10 o'clock they come at 10:30 or whatever time now this is not a good example and they are not even informing the team that i'll come at 10:30 everybody is there online waiting for the boss so that once boss comes and then boss starts to talk and without even managing how much is the length and is going on and on and on and it is these are all real examples we all are humans we all are making mistakes and we all have to improve where we are so by timeliness we mean that whatever time is given to us and india always take it for granted you know hame jo time diya jata hai usse late hi pahunchte hain kabhi kabhi theek hai problem koi uncertain aati hai okay everybody understands that but do not make this a nature of your day to day habit when it is given 11 at 11 o'clock make sure that you log in by 10:58 or by 11 or by 11:5 we do not have to stretch it till 11:15 so 11:5 is also not right there but slowly and gradually you can come and make it discipline when you start to do it these small things such informal yahan pe aapko kisi ko report nahi karna hai you all are participants you have paid for it you have a choice to attend at 11 o'clock or 11:30 or whatever time but those people who really want to improve on their timeliness i myself used to be you know get, getting late to my meetings it's not that i haven't done that i have also done that and i have also realized that that when i do it i kill some somebody's time because that person had dedicated his time only for me that okay i have have to spend my 30 minutes 11 to 11:30 with richa just because richa is coming late 15 minutes wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics so if you want to register in the workshop The registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops so just check it out right now now i just have either 15 minutes in hand or that person could have done something else during that time so knowing that more than money today people who grow in their career they respect the time all the senior leaders you will across come across in your career they they respect their time and we should respect their time too so every 15 minute is a cost to them they have wasted their money as we feel that we waste money they feel that they have wasted something so we should have a respect that we should always first respect our own time and then try to be timely as timely possible this is a habit which can 
come when you start to practice it. Start practicing these webinars like that. Today you're attending my webinar, tomorrow somebody else's webinar, any informal gathering. You have given time to your friend. Okay, let's catch up. Aaj milte hain. Itne baje milte hain. Aur uske baad hum ghar se hi late chale. Usko humne ek ghanta wait karaya. Hum ye sab karte hain. To agar hum wo chote chote chizo pe in our daily routine start to work on it, a day will come when we are professionally also very effective in our managing our time. Attendance of those invited is very important to measure the effectiveness of the meeting. That how many were party, how many we had invited and how many are present. Time allotted versus actual length, major reason. Jesse Kaibar, during this discussion, we have already discussed that we set a meeting for one hour and it goes for so many hours. So we have to be observant that how much time are we investing in the discussion? How many action items are created and closed? Okay, we were told to discuss on a strategy. After discussing and brainstorming together, these are five actions taken to be taken by these five people or two people or three people. So the person who is making the minutes of the meeting and the senior people who are there, who are expected to take action after the meeting, they should know how many actions are taken. You can measure the effectiveness. Baat kari ek ghanta, conclusion nikla ek. Wo toh hum das minute ki baat se bhi nikal sakte the. Hume ek ghanta milne ki kya sirvat thi. So that is how you can measure that next time, agar ek hi conclusion nikalna hai, toh pandra minute ki call set karte hai instead of doing it for one hour. And sometimes some ideas are big where we need time. That is okay. But that is one in ten. It's not all ten on ten. How many decisions the group makes, tracking the participation and the engagement and end with clear actions, owners and timelines. By owners, that means that who will do what and by when they will do it. Timeline is again very important here. Kaam karna hai, richa ko karna hai, kaam karna hai, karuna ko karna hai, kaam karna hai, tanya ko karna hai, but wo kab karna hai, there is no timeline to it. And then that is not happening. So that results in a lot of delay, which we should avoid. There should be a time set to it. So this is all from my side to share with you on effective meeting skills. Try implementing this in your day-to-day -day life. Try improving on any one or two takeaway points from today's discussion. And gradually you will see that you are becoming effective. And also when you become effective, people observe and they also start learning from you. So be that inspiring soul to everybody that people start learning, seeing you as an example. I hope you liked the video. So if you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and also hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.